Okay, you guys are good. Tigers beat Wabash 84-74. Jordan Pumroy joins us. And, uh, Jordan, it was one of those games where you guys maybe started a little slow, and the next thing you know you're up by 22 in the second half. That's a good Wabash team. They battled back, and you guys had to fight them off in the end. But at the end of the day, a good win. For sure, for sure. They're a great team. They have uh, you know, really good shooters, good postmen, uh, great coaching, uh, great strategy when they come play us. Uh, you know, they, they know what you know, gives us trouble and what, what doesn't. Uh, so uh, they're a great team, uh, but great team effort. You know, we, we stayed locked in uh, defensively, which was a really big focus for us the past couple of days. So, um, you know, um, I mean, we came back there. On, on us about what, nine minutes to go, um, but you know, just kind of finishing the game out. This was pretty big for us. So, against a team like that with so many shooters, how much of uh, this win goes to your efforts on defense, just trying to keep those guys in check? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, coaching staff had a really good strategy for us. Scout um, the past two days, we watched film. Um, you know, we, we run through their stuff on. Uh, you know, during practice, um, so you know, give credit to the scout guys during practice, and uh, you know, also just staying locked in. So uh, just, it was a big part of the, the victory. Season. Obviously, a big win against one of the other top teams in the conference. You've got Worcester coming up on Saturday. This is a challenging, but I would think fun part of the schedule. Oh, for sure. We're, we're looking forward to it. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Matt Croce joins us. Coach, you go to 14-0 on the year against one of the other top teams in the conference. A lot of weapons on that Wabash squad, so your guys had to come to work tonight, and you guys were able to, I wouldn't say keep them in check, but you guys were up by 22 at one point, and you get the win. Yeah, I, I thought, uh, you know, first, first, just need to talk uh, some credit to our associate head coach, Nathan Wally, who put, the, put together the scout and had a great game plan. Our players trust him. Uh, he handles a lot of the scouting for us, and I trust him, but, but our players trust him as well. So I thought he did a great job having our guys prepared on, on how we needed to guard some of their things. They, they are really good, and they have so many guys that can shoot, drive. They've got a great big man who's a senior, physical player. Uh, they run some really good stuff, and, you know, they're, they're a really good team. And so I, I'm really proud of our guys, uh, the, the focus on the defensive end and trying to deal with a lot of different things uh, at fast speed, pace is high. So I, I thought we were really dialed in, probably more so than any other game this year mentally, to just really pay attention to things. And, you know, in the second half, they're making those threes. I mean, that's that's you see their, their, why they're a good team, right, because mm -hmm. they've got so many guys that can, they can put the ball in the basket. So I was just uh, really proud of our guys. They battled, uh, you know, get up big, and, and they come back. Uh, we knew they were going to make a run. We knew they wouldn't go away. So, I'm, uh, again, you know, it's a testament to our guys to kind of just settle down and play, keep playing hard, and, and try and go through things when it's not going your way. But uh, that's a lot of fun. We kept talking in huddles like, this is fun. How is this not fun? You know, we're playing against another great basketball team at home. We had a great crowd, very supportive. Like, how do you not enjoy that? And tonight on offense, I thought the ability of both James Johnson and Landon Martin to get to the basket, and in James's case, to get to the free throw line, that was huge. Yeah, I mean, you know, we play through Connor, and we, and to a certain degree, we play through Jake next, and teams know that. And, you know, again, we... Uh, Connor and, and their senior center have been, you know, button heads for four years now. So everybody knows what's coming. They did a great job of kind of doubling down on him. And we need other guys to step up, and we have those guys, you know. And that's that's the luxury of having Landon and James. They, they've been working hard for three years now, and they, they, they're ready to roll, and they know what these kind of games bring, and they were they were dialed in. It was fun to watch. It is an interesting and fun part of the schedule. You beat Wabash, yeah. now you get ready to go to Worcester. I would think you won't have any trouble getting your guys excited for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, we, we go Wabash, Worcester, and Ohio Wesleyan in a row uh, now, and then we do it again in the, in the second time through. Uh, we've had that happen the last couple of years in the conference. So our guys are ready for that. And again, it's like, you know, SEC West football. Uh, everybody that you play is going to be uh, really, really good. And with the conference the way it is this year, I mean, this is got to hold serve at home and get as many on the road as you can. So, yeah, they'll be, they'll be ready to go. All right, Coach, congratulations. All right, thanks, Scott.